I know it doesn't look like it, but these are going to be red delicious strawberries very soon. Hi everyone, I'm Dondi Mercer Plank with Sal Sharp of Grow Your Garden with Sal. Yes. And now being February, mm -hmm. this is the month and March next yes. month to get strawberries in the ground, right? Even that is though correct. it's cold. Yes, yes, yes. They need that dormancy and they're gonna start coming alive about the mid-February. Let me show you what Sal has here in the bag. And of course this came out of your uh, grow your garden with Sal's yes. box that I subscribe to and get once a month yes. and so we received these strawberries and th it doesn't look like much right now Sal. It doesn't so they're semi dormant they do have some green on the top but this is how you want to get them started you can also do the plants later in March but if you're starting with the bare root this is the way you want to go. Okay, so February and March, again, the months to get these in the ground here in the southeast part of the United States. We're in the Columbia, South Carolina area. So show me what to do. Yes. Um, so the best, the most important thing is to have some loose soil, some good potting soil mm -hmm. and black cow. Okay. Um, once you have that, because you don't need, uh, you need a lot of drainage. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll just sit down right here. And when you, when you plant, this side is the root, and then here is the stem. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to plant it like this. Right. I've seen people do that. That's oh, not right. Right. You have a roots down go down and in. Yes. Okay. And this is a really cool variety because it's better in our heat. Um, so you're going to spread the roots out like this, and you're going to dig two trenches so you can kind of bury. So two different trenches put together, yes. okay? And ah. then you're gonna um, spread out the roots on each side. And so the green is kind of straddling those two trenches. So you've done two little holes there and then straddled the, the roots over that area. Yes, exactly. Okay? And you're gonna need uh, one square foot per strawberry and they spread like crazy. So six months from now. So about one square foot. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, from six months from now, you're going to have to thin them out because they will take over the whole bed. So don't. And what happens if you don't thin them out? Um, they're going to choke each other out. And they're not going to. They're not going to produce any berries. Okay. So yes. this is it. This is all that we do to get these strawberries going. They. It is. And also, you don't really need to water it a whole lot. Um, fill the soil. If it's really, really dry, just water a teeny bit. But pretty this much. This is kind of moist. Yeah. Yeah. So don't okay. water them in. You pretty much need to leave them alone. Okay, so the rest of these would be the same thing. We're gonna give it at least a square foot on each yes. side and get the rest of these in the ground. Yes, exactly. As far then as fertilizing these, they're in yes. the ground now, again, February, March, in mm -hmm. the southeast. At what point do we fertilize them? Yes, yeah, so strawberries grow during uh, long hours, cool weather. So we have that um, February, March, April, and then again into late fall. Um, so those are the months you fertilize. So if it's July, August and it's really hot, um, don't fertilize because they're going to be kind of struggling at that point. And as you can see, we have this big arch here. We're going to put shade cloth and that's also going to help them out a lot. In the hottest months? Yes, during okay. the hottest months. Okay. Now, what if somebody wants to put these in a greenhouse? Um, no, I would not put them in a greenhouse. It's too hot. A greenhouse is a hot house. These need cool weather. Okay, cool weather. Yes. So again, February and March, time to get the strawberries in. Sal, give people the information on where they can find you. Yes, um, I am at uh, salslocalseed.com or growyourgardenwithsal.com. Um, they'll lead you to the same place. And um, our phone number is 803-786-6546. And I want you to know about these boxes because these are the boxes that you can get, like if you don't even want to make a trip out here, you live somewhere else and you're watching this video, Sal will mail this box out once a month. Yes. And last, we've had sugar cane recently, we've had asparagus, you've had strawberries in here. Yes. What's coming ahead in the next one if somebody wants to get in on the monthly box? Yeah, so March is really exciting because it's potato time and it is really easy to grow potato in containers. Yes, I have found that. <laughs> it's like my favorite thing to grow because it is so easy. And it's so beautiful too. Too, it, the, they the are foliage. they do make beautiful beautiful plants before you ever even get the produce tell us about the classes that you offer here yes um so you can look online under events and classes and we have several days where you can come out and volunteer and then on saturdays we have all kind of different classes okay and some somebody would just reach out to you here 
to yes. be able to sign up for those. Yes, or okay. uh, go online. You can look up the schedule. Okay. We've got a lot of stuff going on. We got a mushroom class coming up, asparagus, strawberry, um, spring gardening. So a lot of different things. Excellent. So Sal Sharp with Grow Your Garden with Sal, and I'm Dondi Mercer Plank. Thanks for watching, everyone.